In this part of the lesson, we're going to look at how we can write a new if statement within an existing if statement to create what's referred to as a nested if statement. Let's start by opening up the file that I've already downloaded and extracted, and we'll find another example of the game that we created in the previous part of the lesson. Let's enable the content so we can play the game. And just as before, we're generating a random number between one and 10 for each player. And when a player has a higher score than the other, they're indicated with a green cell, the loser indicated with red. And then if there is a draw, then the cells go orange. What I'd also like to do now is add some extra code to indicate that if player one is the winner, I'd also like to check if they have generated the highest possible score, which is 10. And if that's the case, I'd like to display an extra message below the score cell to tell them that they've got the top score. So let's head into the developer tab and then the visual basic editor. We can see the code that we've written already to generate this, uh, this game. We'll add some more code to the if statement, which checks if the value in cell B2 is bigger than that in cell D2. So currently, if player one's score is higher than that of player two, it changes the background colors of the two cells to green and red. I still want those two things to happen, but I also now want to check another condition. So after these two instructions, I'm going to give myself a blank line or two and then begin another if statement. So I want to check explicitly if range B2 dot value equals 10, then. On the next line, I can then begin adding statements that I want to execute if this second condition has been met. So what I'd like to do next is say range B3 dot value. Uh, again, it's conventional to indent the code within your if statement one space. So I've used the tab key to indent one further level. So I'm going to say range B3 dot value equals, and then I'll say that they've got the top score. And then I'll also change the interior color of range B3 so that it's in gold. So it really clearly shows off that the user has got the top score. So range B3 dot interior dot color equals RGB gold. There we go. Now, just like every if statement that you begin, every block if statement that you begin at least, you must have a corresponding end if. So I need to close this block if with an end if nested inside the first. Now, regardless of whether player one does make the top score, I still want to indicate that if their score is higher than that of player two, the player two is the loser. So let's add another statement below the nested if. So if I add a statement that says range D3 dot value equals loser, regardless of what exact score player one makes, if it's higher than that of player two, D3 will contain the word loser. Now for testing, let's just make it a lot easier for player one to first of all win and also to generate the top score. Let's change the rand between to get a number between nine and 10, say. And then if we switch back into Excel, we can play the game again. So regardless of whether player one gets the highest score, player two is still indicated as the loser. If I click play again, and hopefully at some point, there we go, player one will receive the highest possible score and we get the words top score in cell B3. I'd like to make one more addition to our code now so that if player one wins but doesn't get the highest score, they still get the description of winner rather than just a blank cell as they would currently. So if I play the game a few more times, if they don't get the top score, cell B3 is empty. So let's head back to the Visual Basic Editor and I think we'll reset our random number generators to make it fair again so that both players get a number between one and 10. And then what I'd like to do is add an else clause to my nested if so that if this condition fails or returns false, then we still change the contents of cell B3. So I can add an else clause just in the same way I would to my main if statement. Your nested if statement can be just as long and complicated as a, a standard if statement. There are no extra rules about this. So I can then say range B3 dot value equals winner. Okay, so if I go back to the Excel window again, give it another test. We should see that if player one wins, they still get top score as long as they get a score of 10. But if they win without getting the top score, we still get the word winner. So at this point, you can either carry on with the extra practice session of this part of the lesson, which asks you to extend the code to create a similar system when player two wins. Alternatively, you can just move on to the next lesson of this module, which talks to you about combining logical tests using logical operators.